All right, my friends, welcome back to my crushing difficulty walkthrough for Uncharted The Lost Legacy. This is chapter number eight, it's called Partners. We're getting very close to the end of the game. And we're going to start by picking off some collectibles and listening to an optional conversation with Sam. By the way, thanks for keeping him busy for us. Yeah, you know, I wanted to buy you some time in case you were coming to get me. Of course we were. Seriously, thanks. I really thought I was a goner. I wouldn't let that happen. Your brother would never let me hear the end of it. So yes, Sam is going to be tagging along and offering some comedic dialogue and oftentimes monologues too, but I can't say he really needs to be in this game, but I guess his inclusion in this game is just as random as his appearance in Uncharted 4 at Thief's End. Who knew that Nathan Drake had a brother? They probably just wanted to give Tribakers another job because every big blockbuster game needs to have Tribaker in it apparently. But anyway, let's get another trophy or another treasure. Let's dive over here and pick it up. Here we are. And now let's swim up. And we can get an optional trophy here. I'll demonstrate in a little bit. Okay, fine. I heard you worked for us off too. How'd uh how'd you deal with the picture? Hey, hey, careful! Careful! We have to grab onto here. There's another treasure. And now we're going to jump below. And go for a cannonball. Let's do this. Cannibal. Wow, eight five nine zero and a seven from the Germans. Why would the Germans give the lowest score? That seems a bit unfair. Uh, anyway, let's go up through here. And we're going to open a passage. Should have packed my machete. Seems oh, Sam might have something against no Germany. Go ahead. Look, you first. Much obliged. Wow. Yeah, he's kind of an ass, but we already knew he was this way. Although I think they go the extra mile to make him even more annoying in this game than they did in Uncharted 4. Yeah, but we're used to having close calls at this point. We're kind of immortal after all. Okay, pick up the treasure, and now let's get another optional conversation. Hey, thanks for not murdering Sam, by the way. You want for a useful letter? There you go. Good. Positive attitude. Good act as a decoy. Draw some fire away from us. Throw himself on a grenade and save us all. Sure. Or he might just keep making side comments and being annoying, but we'll see. I still worry that they might try and do an Uncharted game with Sam as the main character. Sam! Where are you? Hey, this might do the trick. Holy mother of shit, this is heavy. Damn, you were choking. I never joke. Not about anything. You know, one of you could have just let me borrow your robe, but... Well, I certainly wish Chloe didn't curse because that's going to get this video in trouble. <laughs> With a new YouTube policy. That was close. You in one piece? Yeah. Go team! Come on. We're exposed up here. You shouldn't be wearing glasses. I never would have found you without her help, okay? Okay. 
She just wants to kill me, is all. Well, don't give her a reason to. Good point. Nadine, see if there's something up there we can use. I didn't do it. No, we're good. Come on, China, I'll give you a boost. All right, just trying to be chivalrous. Just watch and learn. And I suppose this is the part where Sam feels completely irrelevant and his presence really doesn't add anything to the game. I think we can all reach that conclusion. This should work. Nice. Got it. Come on up. Go ahead, Sam. Age before beauty. Are you too kind? No. She's just worried I'll kick it over and leave you down there. Right. Uh but I scout ahead. I wouldn't really leave him. Yeah, well, play nicer. Sam, see your way forward? Yeah, uh, sort of. We'll uh, definitely need your grappling hooks. Okie doke. On my way. Well, this would be the end of the line for most people, but not for Uncharted characters, of course. Shit. Oh. Those hands oh. are just made of iron. I'll just borrow Nadine's hook and... I have a better idea. What are you... Don't move. Come on. Hey. I said don't move. Unbelievable. Hey, out, out. Oh. Hey, too, Chloe. Thanks for scouting ahead, Sam. I hate these parts where we're just sliding up and down hills. I swear sometimes the controls are unresponsive in this game. And these sections can be really annoying sometimes. To we'll just fall. They added them in Uncharted 4 and I didn't like them and I don't like them here either. Why don't you go ahead? But Leave up we go to get another treasure. And what? Next time, you guys see Chloe's leg, go. right? I don't know if she broke it or what's going on. <laughs> but that was a glitch. Be kind of funny for the rest of the game. Our legs stayed in that position and we just kept playing like that. Should be a little gimp, I guess. But anyway, up we go. What is this? Light? Sure. All right. Well, there's only a few, and we can probably light. That sub guy doesn't do things halfway. Going to be quite a show. Son of a bitch. Sure, what the hell are they doing there? We got way of all these. Hey, guys. Sam. Saying. Hey. You cool? Yeah, I'm cool. Because I need you to be cool. I'm cool. All right, ladies, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take the guy on the right. You two go ahead and just... She's totally not cool. Okay, guys, fight time. No escaping things here. Let's wait for that guy with the shotgun to get a little bit closer and now let's get rid of him. You might want to try and jump on top of the crate and get him that way too, but if he hits you, you'll enter uh in critical mode and if you get hit with even just one more bullet it will be enough to kill you on crushing of course so i wouldn't recommend that okay that guy's down let's see if we can i didn't want to do this no photo mode thank you That totally threw me off guard. There we go. Now we need to be careful here guys because there's going to be those enemies that like to run and grab you, the ones wearing the mask. They're really annoying and on crushing if they grab you, you'll get hit at the same time and things can be a little bit problematic. Oh, grenade, we gotta get out of here. That was like a double choke slam or something. That guy's down. I wanted to shoot the canister, but that didn't happen. There we go. That guy's down. There's going to be another one though. Be careful because up close those those armor dudes with the shotguns they'll 
finish you off in a single bullet with a single bullet on top. He's down as well. Good. Okay, he lost his helmet. Good. Kind of annoying how that grenade delivered so much damage even though I was kind of far away already. And that guy's still alive. There we go, not anymore. Just a few more and then we'll be done. He's down. You guys are stealing my kills. Is that the last one? There we go. Anyone else? Yep, there is one more. There we go. some ammunition and we can get the last optional conversation in the game right now it's a single word and we'll get a trophy after we do that I already unlocked the trophy on my practice run but if you've been following my walkthrough you should see this trophy appear it's called getting to know you I believe you all right yeah and that's it that's literally the only thing that she says yeah we can squeeze through here so that wasn't too bad yeah. actually Coming. the most important thing is to make sure you're not grabbed by the the enemies that like to grab you and choke you and of course be careful with the guys with the shotguns if you do that honestly i i don't think you'll have too much problems in that section i mean it's not the easiest section in the game that's for sure but i find that the guys who can grab you they're really annoying Don't like this part, very easy to die. Not here, but right over here. Sometimes Chloe will decide to go towards the other side. Make, get ready to make a jump and grab on here by pressing square, otherwise you're going to die. Okay, last picture. There we go, very nice. We have them all now. Big sorry, it didn't happen. <laughs> hey, D, she's over here. Well, you all right down there? Yeah, I was fine until Sam made me picture God's balls. Where are you? By the radio tower. Hey, D, do you see way up? Fraser, right, so we'll find something you can hook your rods to. Ah, oh, sounds like a plan. Okay, let's go down through here. Got something for you. Brace it against that strut. I'm doing it. And here we are. Okay, come on up. Well, that doesn't sound good. It's buckling. Jesus. Come on. Get up here. Go, go, go. Sam, hold on to that bar. I'm doing it. Oh, shit. Well... It looks sturdy enough. I'd see too. Well done. Yeah, not bad. Considering it was her idea. <laughs> so, you never heard us all talk about Shawna? Swear to God. All I'd heard from this man was the Indian army had cut off his supply chain. They were looking around. The soldiers in this room too. Yeah, the shoreline didn't take money from Manny. I, I mean... Forget it. It's true. Yeah. Uh, thanks Nadine for helping me out, of course Sam doesn't do anything as per usual, he's, he's just going to stand there and watch us do all the work. Now, let's change the rails here. Stuck. Let me a hand? Sure. 
Could really use another pair of hands here. Guess not. I swear he was at least a little bit more useful in Uncharted 4. Sammed, no, he's still alive. For a second, I would think he would have gotten smashed against the wall there. So much far away up, though. Yeah, maybe there's a way through, though. There's a treasure up there, but we can't get it quite yet. Sam, bet you're tall enough to get that ladder. Come on, I'll boost you up. I'll give you a hand. More the merrier. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm okay with this. Sure. Ready when you are. <laughs> Well, have you ever noticed? Oh shit! Sorry! <laughs> Great. Any spare ladders up there by any chance, Sam? I will look around. Been a crazy couple of days, hasn't it? Yeah, well, can't say I was expecting Sam Drake to come back into my life. You know, I wasn't sure if I could trust you either. Had to test you a little bit. Hmm. That include making me wait two hours in a war zone for you? Certainly tested my patience. See, in that instance, I was just straight up late. There was this little girl in the market who sold me a scarf. She wouldn't take no for an answer. <laughs> Likely story. Hey, uh, you two head back to the tracks. I found something here that'll work. Yep, coming! There's always a little girl in the market, okay, I guess. Sam. What do you got? I have found a crate. Of course you I'm did. surprised you didn't call Chloe Mrs. Jones. Wait. It won't be high or Jones. Oh, right. Good point. Uh, That's an Indiana Jones to. reference, never you mind. There you go. That's using the old noodle. The what? It's the... Your bra the noodle, it's a saying, as in your brain. That is not what I pictured. It's a compliment. Hey. Okay, let's move this again. There we go. Oh, and let's get out of here. Okay, Sam, give us our, your hand. There we go. Your turn, Miss Ross. And now let's go ahead and get that treasure. It's professional Right over here. Make sure you don't forget it. You can see it shining um, from the bottom, but either way, it's better to get it. Sometimes you might forget. Now we're going to step into the final section of this chapter. Kind of a difficult section. Look. Well, on crushing it can be troublesome. Sam, you can use my rope. Everything else, it's not that bad. Um, but first, let's swing over here. So you have to turn around and swing to this side and get the last treasure in this chapter. And this treasure comes with an optional treasure. Again. A Last of Us reference. So check the bottom of the skull. There it is, and wait for the trophy to appear. There we go. And now let's move on ahead. Swing to the other side. One more swing. Here we are. And let's get ready to do this. It's clear. Come on. Yeah, I got 
got your rope. Thanks. Well, this just keeps getting better and better. Between Asav's man and Shawline, there must be at least a couple dozen guys in there. Hang on. What's in that crate? Uh, guns, ammo, maybe? Maybe. I thought Shawline didn't do arms, did We... <laughs> they didn't. Never mind the crate. Where's the tusk? Well, there's a solve with... Orca. Who? My former lieutenant. <laughs> I remember this guy. Yeah, there he is, in all of his mullet glory. <laughs> right? <laughs> she gets it. Okay, well, the deal's done. Your boy Orca has the task. Let's go relieve him of it. Hey, whoa, 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 wait. We've got a plan, guys. Like I said, there's over a couple dozen guys in there. Relax. You'll live longer. I am so proud. What just happened? Okay, guys, so let's start doing this. So... There's no other way around it, eventually you will get spotted by the helicopter, um, but we can be sneaky. And there's a perfect way for you to escape the helicopter every time you're caught, just jump into the water. Uh, there's some caves nearby, I'll show you their location in a little bit. And if you do that, the enemy will stop seeing you and you'll be able to hide once again. Our goal isn't to take down the helicopter. On the contrary, we have to get on board the helicopter, but first we need to deliver enough damage to the helicopter in order to be able to do that. Be careful because once you enter this area, the other soldier with the helmet, he'll come and try and talk with this guy, so try and take him out first. Otherwise, you can always wait for the conversation to happen and then take him out. Now let's get rid of that guy with our silencer, there we go. And let's take care of the guy with the uh, armor. The other dude, since I killed this friend who is supposed to talk with that guy, he's just going to stay there, so we can easily get rid of him. There we go. Let's get that C4. And let's open the first locked box. There are five of them here, we need to open them all. And if we open them all, we'll also get um, a treasure, or actually a trophy. Um, I've already obtained it, but nonetheless, I'm still going to show you the location of all the locked boxes, even though you don't need to open all of them. Be careful because you don't want to be in the line of sight of the helicopter and that's a little bit tricky, sometimes you might get caught and you don't even know how. But so far so good I guess. You can either use C4 or use the RPG to damage the helicopter. Now let's wait here a little bit. We have to wait for the helicopter to move and there's also a, a soldier over there as you can see. Need to be careful. Wait for the helicopter to move and we also need to wait for the soldier to turn around otherwise he'll see us. Because there's another locked box over there that we need to get. Okay, there we go, let's do it now. And by the way, there's a trophy where if you manage to take down the helicopter without defeating any other enemies, you'll get a trophy. Uh, on crushing difficulty, I don't recommend it. I, I don't even know if it, I don't think it's possible to do it on crushing. Uh, or it might be, I don't know. But I would just leave that trophy for later. 
because you can get infinite rocket launcher ammunition and use that to quickly take care of the helicopter I don't know why it's doing... Normally the helicopter should be turning around here. It shouldn't be in this position, so I don't know what's up with that. And it just went up, so I totally missed my <laughs> opportunity to get the C4. Which is fine, because honestly I'm probably just going to use the RPG. But anyway, while the helicopter is going away, let's open the other lockbox. The helicopter, I don't know what's going on here. It should not be in that position. It should have its tail turned towards you. Um, that actually might be a problem because the helicopter might be able to detect us if we try and place the C4 here. Uh, let's try and get it either way, this is risky. Okay, let's hide again. That was close. Honestly, at this point I might as well just start firing rockets at the helicopter because for some reason the pattern that the helicopter is doing, it's not a normal pattern. It should be turned forward and it's not. So considering I want to place C4 on it from here, the helicopter might be able to spot me when I climb on the train and try to latch on the C4 to it, which is originally my plan, but yeah, that's what I figured. Of course we were going to get spotted and I can't get it from here. Okay. Well, time to get into the water. Let's go through here quickly. Be careful with those snipers. Gotta get them out of the way. Let's recover our health a little bit. There we go. And now let's hide here a little bit. Recover our health. And let's hide here as well. Let's make a run forward through here. And we're going to jump into the water, make sure that you're not too close to the ledge, otherwise Chloe will automatically do this. I hate to, I hate when characters do this, especially on crushing. You want to jump into the water, but just because they're in a corner, they will always grab onto the corner instead, making you waste time and potentially get caught. Okay, let's recover our health here a little bit. We only need three RPG shots, honestly. And since we're close to the water... We can always make our escape inside the caves that way. Just go away. There we go. I needed to get rid of that sniper. Oh, brother, come on. The helicopter should have not seen me from this position, but oh well. Time to jump into the water. That's the last log box, by the way. And I wouldn't normally even open it. I just want to show you that trophy and show you the location of all the log boxes because we do not need to open that log box. Um, it has nothing of value for us at this point. He's really starting to annoy me though, so we're going to hit him with a rocket. There we go, that's one. And let's dive into the water once again, take cover. If we swim around for a little bit, be careful obviously so that Chloe doesn't drown and die. But if we do this enough times, uh, the, 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 shop, the, the shopper will stop following us. Let's try and do this again. There we go. 
back into the water. We're protected here and back inside the cave so that they lose sight of us once again. So this method works pretty well guys and I totally recommend that you use it. There we go. One more will be enough. Let's do this. Now we just need to get that last lockbox. At this point the shopper has taken enough damage, so now what we need to do is climb to on top of one of the trains. Uh, if the helicopter is close by, of course. And then use a rope to hold on or latch on to the helicopter. And from there, climb on top of the helicopter and that pretty much concludes the chapter. But like I said, we need to get that last box. Otherwise I wouldn't waste time doing this, I would just go for the helicopter straight away. And if you leave some enemies on the field, which is what I'm doing, that will prevent reinforcements from joining, so it will be easier for you to get on board the helicopter, because enemies can still shoot at you while you're climbing on the rope to the helicopter, so you want to stay fairly hidden. Let's take cover here. Hopefully this time it won't find us. Because that was really unfair. Okay. So far so good. There we go. That's the last weapons box. So if you open this one, that will be all. And you'll get a trophy as well. Uh, I already opened all of them on my practice run. That's why the trophy isn't appearing for me. But it will appear for you. And what are you doing, Chloe? Great, an invisible window. Just what we needed um, at this point in the game. It kind of It's kind of frustrating. So sometimes I'll, your character just doesn't respond to your commands. And that happens in all the Uncharted games. Especially when you're playing on Crushing and your margin for error isn't very big at all and they pull stunts like this which is annoying because it's been present in every single Uncharted game and it was never fixed anyway let's move over here and we'll get on for the helicopter now just have to wait for that guy turn around we can't use our rope from here, so let's get behind that crate, and that will hopefully do it. Just a little closer. There we go. Good, they didn't see me on time, so we are going to get on board. Apparently Nadine came as well. Hey Arca! I remember when you were just called a random goon from Nadine's army. Back in Uncharted 4. But anyway guys, that's going to be it for this chapter. Next chapter is going to be the last one. Enjoy the cutscene. And me, Jab, and we are out of here. Escape! done with my company made it profitable for starters i think that was a rhetorical question love i should have shot you back on that god for second island i wish you had it would have spared us the sight of watching you turn tail and run oh, i did just 
hash your shit out on your own time, okay? Uh, Tusk, please. You two? Partners? <laughs> Either you've got a piss poor memory or you're even more desperate than I thought. Jeez, I'm just getting it from all sides today, aren't I? I'm not the one reduced to hustling weapons to ragtag insurgents. Ah, there it is, eh? There it is. Always thinking too small. You really think I would have traded this in exchange for munitions? I don't give a shit. Hand over the tusk. Owl's belt. You're gonna miss the fireworks, man. I won't ask twice. Cat. Gun! Nice shot. Thanks. Pattern's a little wide. You Get could... the hell off me. Yep. All right. Hi, a third of that is mine as well. You're splitting closure. Okay. I know you're new to this, but that's not exactly how it works. Consider it a service charge. Hang on a goddamn second. It's a bomb. What? A Sav traded the tusk for a bomb. Fireworks. Th th this this is big. Yeah. Those tracks run right through the city, through the market. So we'll find the nearest town, notify the authorities. It'll be too late. If that goes off, it'll kill thousands. And that is a terrible shame, but we did get what we came for. I... <sighs> what? You are not seriously going after that train. Okay, fine. Fine, you have a plan? Doesn't seem to be much of a requirement in this organization. Are you really going to let her do this? No, I'm... I mean, she's got a valid point. Shit, I don't know, okay? This is not our fight. You said so yourself. Even if you catch that train, what happens? Disarming the bomb is impossible. You're right. Good. Good, so we'll... We'll call the authorities this and... This isn't our fight. It's my fight. That bomb detonates in the city. It'll spark civil war. I can't walk away. I'm tired of walking away. You'll die. I can live with that. Hey! <clears throat> Save my share of the task, okay? Just in case, right? <sighs> what? You're not gonna leave me back there with her? Out! No! I call shotgun. <laughs> Fine. I'll sit in the back. What? <laughs> 